now we will discuss about the next problem of railway engineering as the calculation of steepest gradient okay what we have to do we have to calculate the steepest gradient for a straight track from the following or given data what is given as number of wagons speed of train in kilometer per hour weight of one wagon in tons rolling resistance of wagon in kg per ton weight of locomotive with tender tractive effort of locomotive rolling resistance of locomotive velocity resistance in kg per tons now start with the solution total weight of train equal to weight of locomotive with tender plus weight of wagons uh, the values are given as 180 plus 26 into 20 equal to 700 tons from where you are getting 26 number of wagons as 26 and rolling resistance of and weight of wagon one wagon equal to 20 tons okay we will get 17 tons now rolling resistance of wagon equal to 2 into 20 rolling resistance of one wagon is given as 2 kg per ton this is value from there and 20 is the weight of one wagon into 26 is the number of wagons we will get 1040 kgs next rolling resistance of locomotive equal to 3 into 180 where you are getting 3 from rolling resistance of locomotive equal to 3 kgs per ton into 180 180 is weight of locomotive with tender as 180 tons we will get answer in kgs as 540 now total rolling resistance equal to rolling resistance of wagon plus rolling resistance of locomotive we will get in terms of kg or we can convert it into tons by dividing thousand next step is velocity resistance given in the question as velocity resistance equal to 0 0.0016 v square kg per ton what is v we have to substitute here as v as 50 from where we are getting 50 speed of the train as 50 km per hour it is given in the question we are substituting here 0 0.0016 into 50 square into 700 we will get in terms of kgs and we can same convert it into in terms of tons now next let one in x be the steepest gradient for our assumption now on a state level track train resistance equal to rolling resistance plus resistance due to speed plus resistance due to gradient adding up all the values we will get equation one next tractive effort of locomotive equal to 15 tons which will be the equation 2 now equating these two equations these two equations 15 turns and this is given in the question as the tractive effort of locomotive as 15 turns this is the equation 2 we are equating two equations we will get 1 by x as 0 0.01517 we, we have to write this value in terms of 1 by because always slope is uh, calculated in terms of 1 in 66 1 in 200 1 in 100 therefore always we have to write in this format only 
therefore the steepest gradient is 1 in 66 now we will deal with next problem once we have to find out the number of sleepers we have to calculate the number of sleepers for rails whose length is given as 1 uh, 12.8 meters with sleeper density as n plus 3 so number of sleepers can be found out by the, by the formula n plus 3 n is 12.8 simply we have to substitute n value as 12.8 plus 3 we will get uh, value as 15.8 so always you have to write as 16 or 15 14 like this don't write 15.8 14.6 okay no the uh, number of rails are sleepers are 16 now next problem we have to find the number of sleepers we have to calculate the number of sleepers required for construction of a broad gauge of 900 meter long track using sleeper density as n plus 5 so n, n equal to rail length for broad gauge in Indian railways which is given as 12.8 which is always written as 13 meters therefore sleeper density can be calculated by the formula n plus 5 therefore we have 13 meters plus 5 equal to 18 sleepers okay next total number of rails can be calculated by the formula 900 which is the broad gauge length divided by number of or length of rail equal to number of rails that is 70 rails we are getting therefore total number of sleepers total number of sleepers equal to sleeper density into total number of rails we will get number of sleepers as 1 to 6 